Hello. Hello, this is Greg with Globe Life. How are you? Fine. That is wonderful. I'm giving you a call to let you know about this new low-cost whole life insurance policy that we have for you. It's designed to cover children between the ages of one day old to 25 years old. Do you happen to have any children in the family that you would like to take a safe plan for? Uh, yes, I do. And how many children would you like to protect with this policy? Five. Five of them. Okay, that's beautiful. So do you happen to know their ages? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, are these your grandchildren or your children, your own personal children? They are grandchildren. Grandchildren, that's great, so that's great. And what are their ages, sir? How much coverage are you looking to give this grandchildren of yours? Uh, oh, I hadn't really thought about that. How much do you, oh. what's usual? Oh. Well, so we do have a policy starting from 10000 to $30,000, sir. Oh, okay. Um, well, there's five. So how much is, I have five policies then? Is it one policy? Well, it depends on the ages, sir. Oh, they're... It depends on the ages because they, they might fall under the same group, sir. They are, okay. Let's see. Troy is the oldest. He's nine. He's nine. He, nine. David is eight. Mark, David is eight. Mark is six, Eric is six, and Tushar is four. And Tushar, how do you spell that? T-U-S-H-A-R. He, he, he's adopted. Okay, I hear you, sir. He's four years old. Right. Okay, sir. Hence, I said, sir, He's really a nice little depend. boy. That is wonderful, sir. As I said, sir, it does depend on their age groups. Remember, I did say that they might fall under the same category. Yes. I don't know what that meant, oh, okay, but I sir. heard you say it. Okay, so we have age groups, okay? From a day old to about one year, for a $30,000 policy will cost them eleven twelve. To one year, I, but I don't have any one years. So what's the three yes, years? Yes, I understand that. Chance I'm providing you with a category, sir. Since you have an eight-year-old, nine-year-old, and two six-year-olds, they all fall under the same category. And how much coverage did you say you want for those children, sir? What's the usual? So I did provide you that we do have a ten thousand dollar policy all the way. $30,000. And most people do 10000 or 30000 Most people will take a basic twenty-five or 30000 because they want the best for their kids. All right. Okay. Well, let's go with, uh -huh. let's go with 30000 then. Okay. That's great. So, so a $30,000 policy for all five of your children. Yes. Okay. That's great. That's great. So, so the nine-year-old, eight-year-old, and double six-year-old will fall under the same category. Okay. Hello? Yes, I'm here, sir. Just give me a second. I'm quick. It just got quiet. Mind. I thought I lost you. I can hear the people talking in your office. It's so busy. Oh, it's... Hello? I'm here, sir. I'm right here, sir. Okay. So you are asking for a $30,000 policy for all five of your children? Right. Okay, sir. The two six-year-olds, eight-year-olds, and a nine-year-old are in the same category, sir. And that will cost them thirteen eighty-eight. Okay. That's doable. Yes. That is doable, sir. So $13.88, my, uh, multiply by four, you'll be basically paying fifty-five thirty-two. Okay. Yes, sir. And your four-year-old will be paying an amount of twelve fourteen. Okay. Yes, sir. So do you find that affordable for your children? That's great.
It sounds good. Let's go oh, ahead. Okay. Let's move forward with this plan. That is, uh, oh, okay, that's wonderful, sir. So basically, this policy is a no physical exam policy. Applying is quick and easy. No physical exams is required, and the application is easy to complete. All the applicant has to do is answer a few yes or no health basic questions for you and your children, okay, sir? Well, they'll be home from school pretty soon. Uh, uh -huh. Do you want me to call you back when they're home? Uh, not necessarily, so we can do your files right now and complete them immediately. Well, how are they going to answer questions if they're in school? You will be the one answering the questions. So I do believe that you know your grandchildren. Do they have any, have they been through any physical problems, any chronic diseases through the past three years? They all had COVID. They all had COVID? Yes. Except for two shark. Okay. That's we don't know if he had it. It's okay, sir. It's okay. Well, they don't currently have COVID. Do they have it or do they have it? Well, they're not sick anymore. It was kind of like a, a cough. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, I understand that. It was a yes, cough. Sir, I that. They tested positive, but uh -huh. it was like having a runny nose. But still, they uh -huh. couldn't go to school because they tested positive. Okay. I understand. So, so what is your first and last name? The kids' names or my name? No, your your first and last name. So you get you provided me with the kids' names. I need your first and last name. Oh, my first name is Ivan. I V A N. Yes. And the last name is spelled A I T. A I T K E N C O K. C O K. C O K. A I T K E N C O K. Uh huh. C O K. Yes. Oh, okay, that's that's great, sir. And I do believe this is the best number to call you back. Five one seven six one eight. Five one seven. Six one eight. Nine five seven seven. Nine five seven seven. That's great, sir. And do you have an alternative? No. Oh, okay, that's the only number, sir. So, sir, we would really like you to provide us with your email address because we will send you information through your mail and on your front door step. That's how Globe works. Okay. My email is yes, I-V-A-N-A-I-T-K-E-N-C-O-K. Yes, uh-huh. At gmail.com. At gmail.com. Yeah, could okay, you great, could you repeat it? Make sure you got it. I V A N. No, you don't have to spell it. Just say it. Just say my name, then I'll know you got it. It's the same as my name. Yes, it is the same as your name, sir. Yeah, so just say it so I know you got it correct. Hello, I'm getting another call. Uh, yes, hello. Can you just say it so I know you got it correct? Okay, so let me just quickly translate it to my supervisor right now. Okay? No, just say say the name so I know it's correct. Hello. Good afternoon, sir. How are you? I'm fine. Good, 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 sir. My name is James. I'm with Globe Life, sir. How do you say your name? I see it's. Uh, it's quite challenging to to pronounce her. It's well, the K is the first K is silent, so it's Ivan. Then it's A I T. Yeah. And the K is the K is silent, and then E N C O K. Pretend the K is not there and just try saying it like that. Okay, let me try. It's Ivan. Eight. Ivan. A I T is sounds like in, eight. Yeah. In. Ivan. Is the 
first time I'm seeing this last name, sir. Okay, it's A I T. You say eight. Yeah. And then the K, the K is kind of silent. So just okay. Eight. Eden Cock. Yes, yeah, say my first Is that name. How you say your name? Yes, yeah, say my first name too. Say the whole thing. You're very good at this. <laughs> why would you? Okay, why you wanna say? Why you want me to say it? Because it's my name, and I want to make sure you have it correct. Ivan Aitcock. Is 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 that how you say Ivan Aitcock? Well, there's an E N in there in the middle. You messed it up. Is okay, it, no you, problem. So what is your you birthday? left out the middle syllable. Ivan. I V A N. My first name is Ivan. Got it? Okay. Okay, when is your birthday, sir? Oh, when you said birthday? birthday. I thought you said first name. <laughs> no, birthday. Birthday. When is your birthday, sir? Oh. 626 1954. 6 26 Right. Got it, sir. Wonderful. Okay, and what is your address, street address, sir? It is 24500 Ann Hastings Arbitorium Trail. Ann Hastings? Yeah, Ann Hastings Arbitorium Trail. Arbitorium, how do you spell that? A R B O R T O R I U M. I'm getting another call. What is? It's very busy today on the calls. All no, of a sudden. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I'm okay, here. Okay. And oh, oh, I'm sorry about that. I'll be real quick, sir. And um, what's the city? Which nipple? Seven two eight five five. Seven two. Eight five five. Okay, and this city is which nipple? Which nipple? One word. Okay, and the state? Arkansas. Okay. Which nipple? Arkansas. <laughs> Okie dokie. Okay. And are you employed at the moment, sir? Uh, no, I retired about two years ago. Okay. And how do you spell which nipple? It's, it's, you have a witch and then a nipple, but there's no space. It's just one word. What county is it? Well, it's, we're next to Paris. We use the Paris post office, but which nipple is unincorporated? But if you put Paris, I won't get the mail. We're, a, we're across the river from Bunghole and Fish Haven. Because just, I can't find just it. north I'm, I'm of just. Look, I'm trying to look at. Yeah, just north of Taint. North of Taint, east of Bunghole, and across the river from Fish Haven. It's right there, unincorporated Witch Nipple. Okay, and are you uh, route, or are you route fifty-five runs right through. If you follow fifty-five. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Are Pardon? you single or are you divorced, sir? I'm not single. I'm not divorced. You met it? Well, I'm not dead, so that's the only choice left. <laughs> Sometimes I wish. Okay. What's your place of birth, sir? Which nipple? Yes. I've been here my whole life. Uh, okay. Hey, could could you give me the password? For your for your mother's OnlyFans, I want to look at her boobies. 
Ah, uh, you must be joking. Are you speaking to your wife or are you talking to me? <laughs> talking to you, bitch. <laughs> You're so stupid. <laughs>